During World War II, the German army had a rather varied stockpile of weapons and equipment. Most of it was assigned to the infantry soldiers, who were responsible for conquering enemy territories and maintaining control of different combat areas. In today's video, we will look at some of the main equipment used by German troops during one of the biggest armed conflicts in history. The M40 uniform was probably the most used by German troops. The M40 was usually produced in a greenish-gray color, called Feldgrau by the Germans. The color of the uniform could change according to the region of the army. For example, the olive green uniform worn by the Afrika Korps division, which fought mainly against the British in Africa. The M40 uniform also included an internal suspension system. Through this, a soldier could hang an equipment belt through several hooks off the tunic, spreading the gear's weight without using external equipment suspenders. The iconic Stahlhelm steel helmet accomplished the key role of protecting the soldier's heads from shrapnel and grenade fragments, and also against the firing of low-caliber weapons. The Gewehr 43, also known by the abbreviation G43, is a semi-automatic gas-operated rifle developed by Germany during World War II. The G43 used a 10-round Mauser cartridge and had a firing rate of approximately 30 shots per minute. An optical sight could be mounted on top of the trigger to ensure greater accuracy for the shooter. The G43 rifle was produced in relatively large volumes, with about 400,000 units. The G43 was distributed to sharpshooters and soldiers who were not directly on the front lines. After all, rifles, when exposed to combat conditions, often became jammed and malfunctioned. Most Gewehr 43 rifles were produced using forced labor, mainly in Czechoslovakia and Poland. Therefore, many rifles were subject to parts sabotage or poor workmanship. The Karabiner 98K is a bolt-action rifle, adopted as the standard German infantry rifle in 1935. It was the primary infantry rifle until the end of World War II in 1945. The Karabiner 98K could be modified for specific purposes. A telescopic sight could be added for sharpshooters. A shot suppressor could be attached to the gun barrel for expert marksmen and members of the German Special Forces. A grenade launcher with a range of up to 250 meters could also be attached to the gun barrel. All German soldiers, trained before or during World War II, were taught to use the Karabiner 98K. Throughout the conflict, the Russians captured millions of weapons from the Germans, which were later used in combat or sold to other countries. Today, it is still active in some less developed countries. The MP40 is a submachine gun designed by Heinrich Vollmer in 1940. The goal was to equip German soldiers with an assault weapon. The MP40 used 32 round 9mm magazines, and its effective range was approximately 150 meters. It was a reliable weapon of cost-effective manufacture. The MP40 was used extensively by German troops during World War II. Its advanced and modern features made it a favorite among soldiers and quite popular in several countries after the war. Total production is unknown, but it is believed that more than a million were manufactured between 1940 and 1944. After the end of World War II, many MP40s were captured or handed over to the Allies. They were redeployed to the paramilitary and irregular forces of some developing countries. The MG-34 was a heavy machine gun of the German army. It is considered the first modern machine gun. It was air-cooled and used for many purposes during World War II. The versatile MG-34 was clearly the most advanced machine gun in the world when the German army deployed it. Although the MG-34 was very reliable and dominant on the battlefield, its dissemination by German forces was hindered due to its precision engineering. This entailed high production costs and a relatively slower manufacturing rate. Like most machine guns, the MG-34's barrel was designed to be easily replaced, preventing overheating during sustained fire. Most German tanks and other armored vehicles of World War II used the MG-34 as secondary armament. The 
The STG-44 was the first successful assault rifle. Features included, among others, an intermediate cartridge, controllable automatic fire, a more compact design, and a higher rate of fire. The STG-44 was used throughout the war's Eastern Front. It also had a superior range compared to Soviet submachine guns, making it a remarkable success on the Eastern Front. About 500,000 STG-44 rifles were produced during the war, but they were not enough to save Germany from defeat. The STG-44 also had shortcomings. Its chrome-plated metal body and barrel were prone to overheating. This explains why soldiers wore gloves when handling the STG-44, or the fact that they held the magazine when firing. The STG-44 offered a much greater fire volume compared to standard infantry rifles. The Walther P-38 is a 9mm semi-automatic pistol, developed by Walther Arms as a German Army service pistol at the beginning of World War II. Its development commenced in the early 30s, when the German Army wanted to replace the Luger P-0 pistol. Although elegant, it was expensive and unreliable. The P-38 pioneered the design of semi-automatic weapons. The firing rate was smooth, accurate, and reliable. It was the first locked breech pistol with a double action trigger mechanism. These features allowed the pistol to be safely holstered, even though it had ammunition in the chamber. About 1.2 million of these pistols were produced between 1940 and 1945. After the war, many P-38s were taken to the United States as war souvenirs by returning soldiers. The Panzerfaust 30 was a cheaply produced single-shot recoilless German anti-tank gun used in World War II. It had a preloaded disposable launch tube that fired a highly explosive anti-tank warhead and could be operated by a single soldier. The Panzerfaust 30 had many limitations. The short range put the German soldier in danger when he tried to fire at an enemy tank, leaving him exposed to the blast impact or enemy artillery. It was a poorly accurate weapon, and mechanical flaws were common, but millions of units were distributed to German troops, making it a stressful threat to Allied armored crews, especially in urban terrain. Thousands of Allied armored vehicles fell victim to the Panzerfaust 30. Had it been developed early in the war and distributed to more trained soldiers, the impact could have been far greater. In World War II, most infantry soldiers were trained to use grenades. Throwing grenades further and further away was an important stimulus to undertake improvements. To this end, the Germans developed the M24 Stielhandgranates. The M24 was the standard hand grenade of the German army during World War II. German soldiers carried the M24 on the front of their belts, allowing quick and easy access to the explosive. The German military relied on the destructive power of TNT explosives rather than the metal shrapnel effects of conventional oval grenades. The M24 had no effectiveness against sturdy targets, such as tanks and buildings. A common solution was an improvised package charge, where the heads of several grenades were tied around a whole grenade, creating an immensely powerful explosive. The basic equipment of the German infantrymen included survival and fighting items. This covered a Y-shaped leather belt with straps that went over the soldier's shoulders. Attached to the belt were items such as ammunition pouches, a bayonet, sometimes a small entrenching shovel, a ration bag, a water flask, a cylindrical can to carry a gas mask, and possibly even a pistol and holster. A small bag could also be added to the rear carry to carry other equipment. Sometimes the soldiers could bring with him a blanket or jacket rolled on top of the pouch. Starting in 1943, this personal kit was gradually phased out by the model 1944 backpack as it was more practical. 